I'm Nick Harrison. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be building a twin size mattress bed swing. The first thing I do is to set my stop for my miter saw and begin cutting down some 4x4 posts that will become the side assemblies of the swing. I move the stop up and cut the vertical side assemblies, um, or the vertical pieces that will make the assembly. Next, I change out my table saw blade with a dado blade stack that will help me remove large amounts of material in a short amount of time. After the dado blades are installed, I use the setup blocks to set the exact height at which I need my blade to cut. I mark the width of the cut on the 4x4s using this combination square and a pencil and I will transfer that over to those dado blades so I know exactly what kind of cut I need to make. What I'm going to be doing here is making a half lap joint which is where half of the material at each piece joins together uh, to create a really strong joint. So over at the table saw I begin making that cut. You can kind of see how I'm removing half of the depth of the material on the 4x4s using my dado blades. Um, I'm going to do this on each piece to create those half lap joints. I now begin gluing all surfaces of those half lap joints using tight bond wood glue, not sponsored, and temporarily clamp every piece of the joint into place, check it for square, and drive some wood screws into those pieces. I'm using three inch wood screws here um, just because I think that's an appropriate length due to the size of the 4x4s. Next I begin ripping down some pine two by fours or what I'm going to make as two by fours. Uh, if you had actual two by fours, you could definitely use those. Um, these are going to become the bottom platform pieces on our bed swing. I also cut those to length here at the miter saw. I begin assembling the bottom platform um, just using wood screws. You could use wood glue as well here if you would like, um, but I'm just using wood screws, um, butt joints with wood screws onto the ends. I then install these two by four support pieces in the middle of the platform, uh, just so that when you put a mattress and or people onto this swing at the finished product, it will hold up nice and strong. Next, I use a 3 8 inch diameter bit to drill a fairly deep pilot hole into the bottom of my 4x4 side assemblies. This will allow me to put my wood screws further into the wood, giving stronger holding power for the finished product. I do the same thing on the side with my angled brackets. And after I get one side done, I do the same thing on the other side and then repeat the entire process again for the left or right, depending on where you started, side of the swing. You're going to want two assemblies, one on each side. Now I apply some glue onto the bottom cord, if you will, of that side assembly and spread it evenly. This is going to attach to that 2x4 platform that we made. The glue is probably unnecessary, but since this is going to be holding a lot of weight, I just don't see that it's a waste of time. I think it can only help. It cannot hurt. So I temporarily clamp that side assembly onto the platform and uh, get everything lined up so that I can install some wood screws and some lag bolts. So here I'm drilling pilot holes for the lag bolts, and then I come back in with five inch lag bolts and uh, socket those into place, ratchet those into place. The reason I'm using lag bolts is just an extra layer of security and they are very strong. I repeat the process for the other side assembly and I install lag bolts on that side. Next, I rip down a sheet of half inch plywood to the length that I need and install it on top of that bottom platform. I just do this with wood screws, but you could use glue as well if you would like. I do apply a liberal amount of wood screws though on the edges, sides, and in the field on those little uh, braces that we have in there, those extra supports. Now I measure the dimension of the back and cut down some one by sixes to length. These will be the back support pieces on the back of our swing. I cut those to length at my miter saw here and I take them over to the swing and install them on the back using some wood screws. 
Once I get the top one installed, I use these little spacer blocks to work my way down and I install a total of four of these one by six rear support pieces. Now I begin sanding, which is the worst thing on the face of the earth. I start with 80 grit and work my way up to 220. This does not have to be perfect. It is going to be an outside swing, but I just want to knock off any extra glue squeeze out and just flush up any rough corners, soften the edges, that sort of stuff. I then install some dowel plugs in each of those visible 3 8 inch pilot holes that you can see that we drilled and uh, just put some wood glue, put a dowel plug, sand it smooth. I now begin staining. I'm using a dark black stain, wood stain here. Um, I recommend something that's rated for interior and exterior since this will be outside. Now I drill some holes all the way through each corner of those side pieces and install some eye bolts. This will hold the rope which will mount the swing. After the eye bolts are installed, I move to clear coat sealed finish. I have now put two coats of polyurethane on the entire project. It's dried, it's ready to go. Now the only thing you have to do, I got some of this, uh, this twine rope here, is feed it through each of these eye bolts, cut it to length based on you know, however you're hanging it, mounting it on, the, on your ceiling, um, and you should be good to go. I recommend doing it on a girder or a beam. Um, if you're unsure whether your mounting point will hold the weight, maybe consult with a contractor or a builder or something to help you out. Um, other than that, this project is complete. You can get plans for this project via the link down in the description off of my website. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video, and comment down below. Take care.